All right, I'm here with Sarah Potempa, inventor of the Beach Waver. She just got off our BTC stage, and Sarah, I was telling you backstage, I heard of a lot. I heard a lot of reactions in the audience of like, "Oh, I'm gonna try that when I get home." It was, right. it was amazing. Um, I want to talk to you first. You said you were logging on to BehindTheChair.com 15 years ago. So how does it feel to be on our stage now? It's amazing. I mean, I think I remember being a kid and like thinking, how cool would it be to be on stage styling hair? I mean, that was honestly a big dream of mine. And then I actually went into more like actual runway and actual fashion, which was less on stage work. And then I kind of went into celebrity styling, which is really behind the scenes. So I feel like actually being on stage is kind of fulfilling that like dream of like the teenager, like, oh, it'd be so cool to be on stage with hair. So I mean, it's amazing. I love it and I'm so proud proud to be a part of it and it's such a great community and it really is very inclusive it's all about education so it's it's great to share all of my knowledge of all the crazy experiences I've had. Well, we're so glad you're here. Um, one of the looks you did on stage was a 1940s set. I think that's the one that probably elicited the biggest reaction. You said it's your favorite. Right. Um, what are a few pointers that you think people should definitely keep in mind as they're doing a 1940s set? You have to have the right tools. So um, you want to start with a one inch curling iron. So we use the Beach Waver Pro one inch. And then you need small duck bill clips, so little tiny pin curl clips. Um, then you also absolutely need the right brush. So I talked about that on stage a little bit, like you need the right brush because the, it's all about creating that ponytail brush out. So you're taking the flexible hairspray, you're taking the onset styling brush, it's a nylon bore bristle mix, and it's super important that you're, you're evenly distributing the product through the brush. So it's all about creating that look, and it's all about getting that set right. So the hair actually, once you curl it in the pattern, it wants to go together. You know, so it wants to do that look. Once you start brushing it, it's gonna do it on its own. So I see a lot of people overdoing it, trying to like hold it and spray it, and then like move it and spray it, and it's like so much happening, and you're like, that look is actually just brushed out curls. It's beautiful. You make it look really easy. So. Good. <laughs> um, last question, you talked a lot on stage about the importance of teaching your clients how to do their own hair. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Absolutely. I think it's one of the most important things. Um, I think it's how I got so many celebrity clients. I've always, people, it's like that very, like what is hair when you think of hair as a kid? It's like you and your girlfriends braiding each other's hair. It's playing. It's like, I want to highlight my hair. Maybe my friend's going to do it. Like it, It's that initial like excitement about beauty. And I've found so many celebrity clients be like, I can't braid my hair. And I'm like, no, you can. Like, let me show you. And even that little bit or teaching them how to get a Victoria's Secret Beach Wave is like phenomenal. Because it is the number one thing I hear in my life now is like, you taught me how to curl my hair. You ch Because it actually changes their life because it makes them feel like, I mean, it just changes their daily routine and it makes them just live their life feeling more confident and more beautiful and they're like, I can actually do my own hair. And not that they're not going to come back to you, they're going to come back to you even more because you're the one that taught them. You know, I've had people say, you taught me five years ago to do this. You taught me how to braid ten years ago. And they don't forget that. You know, you could give them a really great cut, you could curl their hair, it looks fantastic, but like so can a lot of other hairdressers, you know? So it's like, it's that connection and that relationship and that like memory for them, you know? Well, thank you so much for being here. It's always great to have you. Thank Thanks. you so much.